Amazing Grace is a timeless hymn of remarkable beauty and depth that has become one of the greatest compositions of all time. Its melody and lyrics have touched the hearts of many people, regardless of their culture or time period. This hymn has a remarkable story behind it, written by John Newton, a former slave trader who underwent a transformative journey from despair to spiritual awakening. John Newton was born in Wapping, London, in 1725, the son of John Newton the Elder, a shipmaster in the Mediterranean service, and Elizabeth. He had a difficult early life as his mother died when he was six years old. At the age of eleven, his father took him to sea, exposing him to a rough lifestyle that included involvement in the slave trade. In 1743, while on his way to visit friends, Newton was pressed into the Royal Navy and became a midshipman. He worked on slave ships, transporting African men, women, and children to be sold into slavery. After attempting to desert, he faced punishment and was reduced to the rank of a common seaman. Newton contemplated murdering the captain and committing suicide, but eventually, he recovered both physically and mentally. He later transferred to the slave ship Pegasus, which traded goods for slaves in West Africa, and even became a slave himself to Princess Pei of the Sherbro people in Sierra Leone. Eventually, Newton was rescued and returned to sea and the slave trade. In 1748, during his return voyage to England aboard the ship Greyhound, Newton had a spiritual conversion. He awoke to find the ship caught in a severe storm off the coast of County Donegal, Ireland, and about to sink. In response, Newton began praying for God's mercy, after which the storm began to die down. After four weeks at sea, the Greyhound made it to port in Loch Swilly, Ireland. This event marked the beginning of Newton's spiritual journey. He began to read the Bible and other Christian literature. By the time he reached Britain, he had accepted the doctrines of evangelical Christianity. The date was March 10, 1748, an anniversary he marked for the rest of his life. From that point on, he avoided profanity, gambling, and drinking. Although he continued to work in the slave trade, he had gained sympathy for the slaves during his time in Africa. Upon his return to Liverpool, Newton pursued a career as a slave ship master for several years. However, in 1754, he fell violently ill during a sea voyage, prompting him to leave the sea and the slave trade behind. Newton dedicated his life to Christian ministry, although it took more than seven years for him to be accepted into the ministry of the Church of England due to his past life experiences and lack of education. Newton wrote the lyrics to Amazing Grace in 1772, and the hymn was first published in 1779 in a collection of his sermons. Its popularity grew significantly when it was set to music in 1835. The lyrics of Amazing Grace reflect Newton's personal journey of redemption and the profound impact of God's grace in his life. The hymn speaks of a person who was lost and blind but has been saved by God's amazing grace. It acknowledges the power of God's love and mercy to forgive sins and transform lives. Amazing Grace quickly became a beloved hymn, resonating with people from all walks of life. Its simple yet profound message of redemption and hope connected with countless individuals. The hymn has been translated into many languages and is sung by millions of people worldwide. Newton later became heavily involved in campaigning for the abolition of the slave trade, as he fully realized the horrors and atrocities in which he had been involved. As Amazing Grace marks its 250th anniversary, it serves as a powerful reminder of the transformative power of faith. The hymn continues to inspire and touch the lives of people, reminding them that no matter their past mistakes or shortcomings, they can find forgiveness and experience the amazing grace of God. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more exciting content.